Okay, this is what I've been staring at for about two or three minutes and I am only on 5%. I'm trying to get the brick store updated. Our internet's been wonky, so I'm really hoping it's our internet and not just this. So hopefully it'll finish its thing so I can at least get a couple parts into inventory before I start work this morning. I'm still working on these vehicle parts and I have some antennas and stuff to put in as well. So this was what I was hoping to work on. This being the beginning of May, I am hoping to get a lot more done with the business this month, but I do have one weekend where I'm going to be gone. But the rest of the month seems to be pretty open, plus I have a three-day weekend in there at the end of the month. So we'll see how things go. Yesterday I was able to get one small brick store file uploaded. I did one for 209 items in 101 lots for $25. There were two good finds, both large figure and bionicle stuff, which isn't surprising. Had some other stuff that was pretty good priced as well. I was able to get those uploaded. This morning before I got sidetracked with a bunch of personal stuff, I did get some more parts sorted out. I'm going to be doing the door frames, windows, shutters and stuff after I finish up the rest of these arches. I do have one small order I need to work on before I can get to work on these. And I'm hoping to be able to spend an hour or two just working on inventory, but it's getting pretty late in the afternoon, so we'll see. <laughs> I'm getting ready to upload. I was able to get 277 parts in 100 lots and there was a couple of them that were over a dollar. Actually two of them that were over two dollars and it was quite the mismatch of parts because I am getting down to the end of this 24 pound eBay box that I got over a year ago. And this is all I have left of that box. So I'm so close to having it done. I don't know if I'm going to continue to work on it tonight, but it's really tempting, especially since I'm so close. What you are looking at here is the very last of that 24 pound box. I washed these last night. I'm going to let them dry today and hopefully either tonight or tomorrow night I will be able to get these parts into inventory and I will be done with that. And this will be my next project. This is a five pound lot that I got around the same time as that 24 pound lot. So it's been a good 16 to 18 months since I've gotten this one. This one shouldn't take too long. It's only got that much in it. I did go through it a little bit when I received it just to see if it was going to be a worthwhile Lego haul. There were quite a few parts that are non-Lego that I'm not sure how many more are in here. That was just what I pulled out, just kind of going through it and breaking things apart. So this will be my next project. Good morning. I was able to get an order done this morning and I still have about a half hour, 45 minutes to work on getting some parts into brick store. But I just want to point out how important it is to keep adding to your store because I really haven't had that many sales. But this weekend I added a whole bunch of parts and a lot of those parts sold just in this order like this dish, these doors, and this arch are just a few in this order that I put in over the weekend and they already sold. So this is kind of motivating me to really focus on getting more into inventory so that I can bring more people into my store. This morning I am finishing up the parts that I washed the other day and getting these into inventory so that I can be officially done with that 24 pound eBay box. Good morning. I only have about 25 to 30 minutes left before I have to log in to work. 
I am working on another Lego haul start to finish video. So this is part of that. So this will look really familiar if you see the other videos sooner rather than later. But this is what I'm working on today. I have the wheels, tires, round plates, and then also I have all of the plates sorted out. So those will be pretty easy to get into inventory. So that's what I'm gonna be working on this morning. Good morning. I did a small upload this morning. It was 281 parts in 102 lots for $21. It was mainly wheels, tires, and plates. I did have one plate that was over a dollar. I'm working on getting a few more in. I have a few more minutes before I'm going to log into work. I'm going to be gone this weekend at a scrapbook retreat, so I'm trying to get as much into inventory this morning as I can. Good morning. I have not really been working a whole lot on Lego since I got back from the scrapbook retreat. About all I've done is process some orders that my husband pulled, just trying to get back into the swing of things. I do have one order I need to double check this morning. He pulled this for me yesterday. And then I have some picking up I would like to get done. I also have this hidden side set. My husband went ahead and pulled it apart and double checked it. So I wanna get pictures of it all bagged up and then I can get this on eBay. I had a whole bunch of extra bags in my craft room and I decided to just bring them out here so they could actually be used for something instead of just collecting dust. And I am still working on the plates from a five pound eBay order. I'm hoping to be able to get a couple of these into inventory this morning before I start work. It's really not a whole lot to update you on. We've had a couple of good orders. My husband just pulled a 500 part order that I just need to double check and get in the mail. I have been working on a smaller upload of five pounds that I got a couple of years ago. And this is just part of that. These are the Technic pieces that I need to get in. There hasn't been any great finds in this upload yet. I don't think there will be, but at least I'll make a little bit of money on this particular Lego haul. I haven't worked as much on inventory this weekend as I would have liked but we did spend quite a few hours yesterday working in the yard and getting our little garden set up and I cleaned out some of the flower beds. So our yard looks better, which is good because it's raining today. So everything's getting watered, but I have been working on inventory. I'm working on a small eBay win that I got a couple of years ago and getting those into inventory so that's why there's not a lot of parts these are just some vehicle parts and windscreens and wedges and wedge plates that i'm going to be putting in i'm about ready to do an upload and this upload is for 299 parts in 101 lots for 18 dollars not a lot of good finds there was one which was this trans clear technic gearbox which was over a dollar and a couple of things that were over 50 cents so i'm going to get these uploaded and then move on to this next batch and see how much i can get in today since i'm not going to be working outside really not much of an update here just want to let you know that i have been working on getting some parts into inventory i'm still working on this little bit here which is part of an ebay win that i got quite a while back hoping to get these in in the next couple of days we have had a few more orders than we had last month but i think they're smaller orders it will probably even out but i'm just happy that we're starting to get orders again i do have a three-day weekend coming up the weather's supposed to be kind of crappy so i am hoping that i will be able to get quite a bit more into inventory over the weekend and maybe work on getting a couple more things into my ebay store as well 
I was able to do an upload last night before dinner, which is always good. It makes me feel like I'm getting back in the groove when I can sit down and do an upload in an afternoon. What I'm working on now are these tiles. Once I get these tiles done, I'll be done with the start to finish for another eBay auction. So I'm looking forward to getting these done. This did not take long to do. And I've had the comment a couple of times in my videos, it's like, why don't you do bigger sorts? I also do bigger sorts, but for the start to finish videos, I like to do just that purchase. That way I can see how much I'm putting into inventory and how much my profit is. Kind of wish I would have started that when I first started buying Lego. It is kind of fun to see how many parts I end up with and how much of a profit it is and how much weight wise, because I always buy by weight, how much weight goes into the store versus what gets thrown out. The other thing that I get a lot of comments on is on my start to finish videos. They think that I should keep track of the time that I work on the Lego. My issue is I would probably not be very accurate with that because I have a tendency to work on the inventory in the morning anywhere from five minutes to 50 minutes. And then in the afternoon after work, same thing, anywhere from a half hour to 90 minutes. And I just tend to do this in between other stuff. So it would be really hard for me to keep a tally of how much time I spent putting these parts into inventory. I might start that with one of them just to see if I can keep track, but I think that I would probably forget and then I would be guesstimating on how much time it took. I have spent the last hour or so just sorting out parts. This is another Lego haul that I bought at the beginning of 2023 that I'm finally going through. I've been sorting out the wheels and tires, bricks, plates, modified plates, plates round, stuff I still need to take apart, a big pile of non-Lego parts, and a little pile of stuff to go into my filler box. And I still have this much that I need to go through. It's all those little parts that seem to take forever. But I am hoping to be able to work on this quite a bit this coming weekend because it is Memorial Weekend. So I'll have three days and the weather's not supposed to be all that great. So it'll be a good time to just work on inventory. It is the start of my three day weekend and I'm getting off to a pretty good start. I have a bunch of wheels sorted out that I'm gonna be getting into inventory. But I just finished an upload of a bunch of miscellaneous parts. There was one good find, kind of. I have this wing that is worth almost $6. However, I'm missing one of the stickers on it. Plus it's got some like grayish black scuff marks on one of the wings that does not want to come off. <laughs> so I did mark that down 20% off. So we'll see if we can get that sold. And then just a bunch of different stuff that I just wanted to get into inventory so it wasn't laying around my shop. So I'm gonna be uploading 414 parts in 102 lots for $36. The other thing I did the last couple of days is I bid on some eBay auctions. We're trying to get some more minifigures in our store, but minifigures have really gone up in price on eBay. So we did bid on a couple, and then I have a couple that I did win. So at least my husband will have something to put in inventory. Whether or not we'll make money on those is yet to be seen. Hopefully we can at least break even and maybe use those as a draw to get people in my store to buy other parts as well. I just did an upload of 420 parts in 104 lots for almost $39. There was a couple of good finds in there. There was a couple of wheels and a tire that were worth quite a bit. I've been putting parts in on and off for the last month and my husband has started putting in some new parts again. So we now have our available parts up to 110,000, which is the most we've had in quite a few months. So I'm happy about that. I was hoping that I would get a few more sales because of having more parts into inventory 
but it is a holiday weekend so I don't know how many people are spending their time indoors and on the computer like I am. Yesterday I was able to get four uploads into my inventory out of Brickstore, which is very exciting. I put in more parts yesterday than I did all of April, so that makes me very happy. As you can see, I'm going to be working on some little miscellaneous parts, and then I've got Technic pins and Technic axles to put in. So I'm going to be working on these later today. This morning I have some personal stuff to work on, and I have four orders to work on as well. And the cool thing is, I know that putting things into inventory is bumping up my sales because all of these lightsabers and these arms, I just put in yesterday <laughs> and they're sold already. And so we have four orders we're going to be working on. I'm going to do the smaller ones. My husband's going to do this big one. And I'm also going to spend some time working in the yard today. So I'm not sure how much time I will be spending on inventory. Good morning. I spent a little time yesterday putting some parts into inventory. I didn't do anything on Memorial Day as far as putting parts into inventory. I worked on the yard and we worked on getting four orders processed and ready to go out. But I did get this uploaded yesterday. There was 545 items in 102 lots. Mostly Technic pins and axles, but also some stickered parts, a couple of manuals, and just some miscellaneous stuff I had laying around. And I did have six items over a dollar. Two of those items are these Technic pins, which are over two dollars. Really like that. I am still working on this local Lego haul. I got this haul of 24 pounds. Right now I'm sitting at maybe 13 pounds put into inventory, but we'll see how it works out when it's all said and done. The next thing I'm gonna be working on for this Lego haul are the inverted slopes, slopes and some wedge pieces and a whole bunch of stickered parts. And I've said this before, but I really like having stickered parts as a buyer. I really appreciate stores that keep the stickers on the parts, especially when I'm trying to recreate sets. So I'm looking forward to getting those in as well. To do a recap for May, you can see that May was actually a fairly good month. At least it's the best month we've had since January as far as sales and number of orders. So I am happy about that because it does show that by putting parts into my inventory, I'm increasing my sales. I would still love to get it back up to where it used to be, but I'm going to be happy with what I get for now. <laughs>